In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix Attack on Titan 2 lag. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to show you multiple steps that you can follow to make sure that you get the best performance possible when playing Attack on Titan 2. Now, the first thing that I want to make extremely clear is that you will notice that I'm using the demo version to demonstrate these methods, but don't worry, they are going to absolutely work with the full release of the game. I'm only using the demo because I don't own the game on this account. So when you first run Attack on Titan 2, you will see this little startup settings window where you can choose a bunch of options. In here, there are going to be some really relevant and important settings that you should go through. First one is full screen. Usually leaving full screen on on is going to be the best option possible for all computers. But if you notice that you are having trouble getting it to work or you aren't able to get inside, I recommend setting it to off. But for the best performance possible, make sure this is on. I'm going to leave it on off for now for demonstration purposes and because of the way that I'm recording this video. But you should go ahead and enable it if it doesn't give you issues when trying to launch the game. Afterwards, choose the maximum resolution possible for your monitor or TV. And afterwards most of these settings won't impact fps you can and should turn off vsync unless you notice some screen tearing and afterwards under the graphics settings these are going to be the primary way to increase performance and lower lag so stuff like the texture filters the texture quality effect quality and shadows are going to be the most impactful so you really have to consider lowering these if you have a low end pc the rest here can have some impact but usually they're just filters or other things that are rendered on top so i wouldn't bother going too hard and turning all of these off unless you absolutely need to the last thing that i would recommend is to update your graphics drivers to figure out which gpu you have if you don't know already all you have to do is right click the windows icon go over to device manager and in here you can find the display adapters with your gpu listed if you have something like intel integrated graphics then unfortunately it seems like you don't have a dedicated gpu and because of this, you are going to struggle to get good performance in the game. You can still update the drivers by right clicking and then selecting this option. But like I said, if you have something like Intel integrated graphics and you don't have a dedicated GPU, you are going to struggle regardless. Now, if you have something from AMD or Nvidia, you can just go over to their websites and download the drivers. Most people are going to have something like GeForce RTX, RTX 20, RTX 30, or RTX 40, and you simply have to choose the appropriate model. It is simple to do, and updating your graphics drivers will always improve performance in every single game and application. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix Attack on Titan 2 lag. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.